What's going on? So this week I'm gonna do another breakdown. This is my first CrossFit workout back. Well, my first CrossFit session. Um, we're not doing as much weightlifting and I'm doing more CrossFit-esque stuff. I hopped in uh, with the normal crew, a little community workout. It was 21, 18, 15, 12, niners, six, three, dual dumbbell thrusters. And then at the end of each set, you had to do, um, it was supposed to be a 200 meter run, but we subbed it for a 450 meter uh, bike for the guys and 365 meters for the ladies. So getting right into this workout, I'm just pulling it up on my phone, gonna get the stations and set up. Um, so yeah, again, had the full crew, this is the first one back. So the strategy for this one was to go unbroken on the dumbbells. The dumbbells were 50 pounds each for the guys, 35 for the ladies. I knew the bike wasn't gonna be a huge issue. I think my cardio capacity is still decent, but I did not want to be hurting in excess. So I knew, you know, go hard on the weight and go pretty moderate, have a pretty moderate effort on the bike. So I wasn't too concerned with that. Um, I just didn't want my legs to explode. I didn't want to puke. I didn't want to feel terrible. So here we are, first session back, feeling good. The 21, I knew wasn't gonna feel heavy. I knew, right around the set of 18 or 15, I didn't know when, it's probably gonna hurt, because at that point, you know, the two, three minutes of the hype at the beginning of the workout wears off. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just finishing up breakfast here. Um, I knew the hype of that was gonna wear off, and so at that point, the workout was probably gonna get real about three or four minutes in. Going into this, the goal was about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, didn't really have too much high hopes or expectations for this one. As you can see here off the first bike, I'm getting in some carbs and then now I'm taking in some water. And this is again, just because I didn't want to cramp. Like this is a very high intensity workout. I think I did it in just over 10 minutes. And again, I don't want to be dead. I wanted to do some stuff afterwards. So I was taking it very smart. I wasn't sprinting the first bike. I wasn't going reckless on the dumbbells. We were just moving and cruising and feeling good and just really, really excited to be back with the crew. Again, one of the aspects I love about CrossFit is this community of shared suffering. Everybody that I know hates thrusters. Everyone that I know also hates running. So we probably, that's why we subbed out the run at least and did simply um, the bike. So that was my first interval. We are looking at just over a minute here. The clock is covered by that wall bar target, but it was about a minute to do that first, uh, first round. It might've been two minutes. I can't really see. I think it's a minute 30. Uh, sorry, my apologies. It's a minute 30 to do that first round. Um, and again, on this round of 18, we're trying to be very smooth. I'm trying to look at my depth here. The camera angle is slightly elevated, so it may not get my full break of the hip crease at my knee. And as we approach open season for CrossFit in about a month, I wanna make sure that my standard for my movement is to this standard. I'm reaching depth. I'm extending overhead properly. Like I know my extension and my lockout is where it should be and where it needs to be. Uh, but again, that depth of where I'm squatting, something I wanna keep notice of, because as I get more fatigued throughout this workout, my leg stance will probably widen and it'll probably shorten up the range of motion just a little bit to where I'm squatting to parallel and not actually hitting depth. So it's something I really wanna key in on and something I wanna practice. Like if you see my, my friend here, Nick, um, he is not squatting to depth. Love him, but he is not squatting to depth. Um, and so, you know, that is what I want to avoid. Maybe not that egregious, sorry, Nick, but there's Corey's butt, but I wanna be able to, again, move efficiently, move well, and move within the standard. So that is my focus for the next four to six weeks as we go through the open. And then in the following month in March, we will have the quarterfinals. So practicing how to do a video submission, practicing angles, making sure lighting, uh, the clock, spacing, gym floor layout is all synced up where it needs to be. So by the time we get to the quarterfinals, everything's good to go. So here we are, this is the set of what, 21, 18, 15. As you can see, I had to take like a nice little breath before I went. There's a little bobble right there. So that's where another shake, like we had some ugly, ugly reps right there. But in the set of 15, I knew this is where the workout was gonna start getting real. We are just under four minutes in. So like that pre-workout jitters and hype is gone and like you're in the eye of the storm. So the reps were feeling good. I think my breathing was good. I didn't feel like I was going to fail a rep, but the reps right here, we were really starting to like push through and have to fight for extension. 
Again, legs were feeling good because you have a decent amount of time on the dumbbells and then you have like 45 seconds to 55 seconds on the bike. And I knew as the rep scheme goes down from 21, 18, 15 down into the 12, 9, 6, 3, you're gonna have a lot more time on the bike, less time on the dumbbells. So the workout shifts from a dumbbell workout to a bike and cardio based workout. And again, considering my focus the last three to four months has been solely on weightlifting, I knew that the body was not gonna be 100% where I needed it to be. And the goal target like effort out of 10 is probably like an eight out of 10 that I wanted to go. I didn't wanna be on the floor uh, dying and gassed, but I wanted to be able to move smooth, feel good and enjoy my first workout back with the community. So that's what we did. Um, <laughs> there is Kenny, one of my favorites at the gym. Super nice dude, always brings good energy, good vibes. Another great thing about the gym, people, at least at Prodigy Fit, super, super friendly, super nice, and we love to just throw down together. So this one, yeah, long, long break. The cardio is starting to hit me as we are moving now for five, six minutes straight, something I was not accustomed to, whereas before when I was strength training, it was perform a set or an exercise or two, and then rest for two, three, four, five minutes at a time before your next set. So. This is something, again, the body was a little shocked, a little bit out of its norm. Um, but overall, we, we responded pretty well. We didn't die. I, don't, I wasn't counting. I don't know what set that was. I think that was set nine, the set of nine. So now I know we're down to the six and three. Again, focusing on getting the water, focusing on getting a little bit of electrolytes, making sure I'm staying hydrated. Again, I don't want to cramp. I don't want my legs blown up. It is the day after. And I woke up feeling like uh, I got run through the ringer. My body, my upper, like my traps sore, my back sore, hamstrings are good, quads are good, but for whatever reason, it's my lats and my triceps are a little tight to establish overhead. Now, granted, full disclosure, I did do a workout afterwards of deadlifts, handstand pushups, and a ski erg, so that probably has something to do with it, but overall, the legs are responding pretty good. Back to this workout, I am at this point suffering on the bike. Um, I was trying to get my breathing under control. My body was really starting to heat up and I was really sweating. Um, so that's why the shirt, we had to pop the top just to give myself some breathing room there. Uh, not the best move though, because if you've ever done dumbbell thrusters that are moderately too heavy uh, weight, when those dumbbell heads come back down and you're hitting your shoulder, you're going to take off the skin. So right now I have two uh, skinned shoulders, not a huge issue. Made sure to clean them out real good when I was done. But as you can see here, we are just trying to pump out these last few reps. I think that was a set of six there. So now I'm doing the second to last bike. I will do a quick set of three, and then we're gonna have to pick it up on that last bike because I know that we are at the end of this workout. Um, so as you can see, I'm trying to lean into the bike and get, because my quads were starting to get sore, not sore, starting to get a little blown up. Uh, the soles of my feet, I don't know what I need to do there, but they were not feeling great. They were cramping up a little bit. So I was trying to lean forward and just use solely my glutes, I'm trying to get my arms a little bit of a break. <sighs> and really allow myself to kind of come down. Again, sweat in my eyes, not helpful when I have these, this going on from whatever reaction or whatever's on my face, not fun, stings, but we were okay. I knocked the damper down just a little bit there just to let the legs recover. Um, and allow my cycle rate to pick up because I found I was getting more meters when I had a slightly lower damper, but picked up my cadence of how quickly I was cycling. So here we are on the round of three. I believe it might be the six, one, a two, a three. Oh no, this is the round of six, my apologies. Um, so I will have actually two more bikes, but that was the round of six. Second to last bike is now. There's Nick again, still not hitting depth on his uh, thrusters. And at this point, I'm really, really hurting. It is how many minutes in? We are looking at eight and a half. So at this point too, what you will see is I will start tossing stuff off to the right of the bike. I just tossed my shirt because I know that once I do this last set of three thrusters, I'm going to be kicking last bike up into gear and we will be moving very, very quickly. So here I'm gonna take a sip close it, make sure it's sealed, and then I'm gonna to toss it to the right. I know Lou is in the way and you can't see it. She's getting after it. 
Um, and then I will do the same thing with the electrolytes. I will take a sip, I close it, and I will toss it off to the side. That way there's no obstructions on the bike. There's nothing that's going to limit or hinder um, my ability to get on the bike and just start cranking. So that's where we lighten the bike, lighten the load. We're literally just doing three thrusters here. And then we're just going to hammer out, I think it was like a 41 second 450 um, bike. So again, quick transitions, just moving. I know the workout's in its end. Um, knowing now that I finished at like 10 and change, I wish I would have gone just slightly faster. I would have had to do about one second faster per movement, one less transition, which is okay. It's a good first workout back. But at this point, it's just hands down or head down um, and just cranking. My RPMs are definitely higher. I kept the damper the same, I think. And I was just trying to find a comfortable position to finish out. As at this point, the feet were completely cramped. The feet were completely cramped. The body was just on fire. The arms, I could really start feeling it. My lats and my traps starting to fill up with blood. And I was just ready to be done with this workout. So it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So yeah, 10, 16. Being a little dramatic here. Probably didn't hurt as bad as it looked. Um, but definitely, definitely a good workout. Good first workout back. You got Andy, he just cruising, doing his thing. Um, but yeah, so just to review, I'm gonna show you guys what the workout was in full. For full context, if anybody wants to try it, again, the dual dumbbell thrusters were with 250 pounders for the guys and 35 pounds for the ladies. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, please subscribe, please comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, peace, much love.